Assalamu alaikum. Today's lecture is about temporary pacemaker in the ICU. Pacemaker is one of the difficult devices to deal by the intensivist. Most of the intensivists are not familiar with the pacemaker, so I will try to go from basics, the terminology used in pacemaker, till we reach uh, this series uh, to troubleshooting of the pacemaker. First of all, I need to define what the pacemaker is. It's either a temporary or permanent system used to beat the heart uh, using electrical impulse uh, in the setting of inadequate or absent native rate or rhythm. The main goal of temporary pacemaker is to support the patient heart, providing perfusioning, perfusion rhythm until the native activity or rhythm or rate return back or until the permanent pacemaker can be implanted. Indication for temporary pacemaker. post cardiotomy the concern of transient or permanent conduction injury. If there is any bradycardia secondary to acute or reversible cause, I like acute MI, electrolyte imbalance, product toxicity, infectious cause. If there is symptomatic bradycardia with sinus pulse is more than three seconds or a heart rate less than a 40 beat per minute. Ventricular asystole, if there is alternative left and right bundle branch block. Here picture uh, regarding a uh, pacemaker, and this is, is a, a, a picture of transvenous pacemaker, where we can see this is a pulse uh, or a generator, and uh, the, from the generator there is a, a leads come to until reaching the heart. If the leads in the heart implanted in the atrium, so from here we will find connection for uh, the atrium. Uh, uh, in, in this side, if, if implanted in the ventricle, so it's connected here in the ventricle in the upper uh, in the upper uh, um, pore in, uh, in of the generator. Here we'll find the uh, rate of the of, of the pacemaker, atrial sensitivity, atrial output, uh, and ventricular output, and down will be the sensitivity of the pacemaker. Another thing is um, this is the bottom for locking the pacemaker. To avoid um, any anyone uh, attach the pacemaker changing the setting, so we need press or hold for 30, 30 minutes, 30 seconds to open this lock. What are types of pacemaker, temporary pacemaker? First of all, epicardial pacing, which can be used after cardiac surgery. This is epicardial pacing attached the pacing electrode wires to the surface of the heart during or after cardiac surgery. The wires ex exist in the chest cavity, connected to external pulse generator so as to provide a temporary pacing solution. The second type is transcutaneous pacing, which is an emergency intervention. It's used to deliver an uh, electrical impulse to the heart through electrode placed on the chest wall. This is method used for emergency situation when the heart rate is suddenly dropped and we need an uh, emergency solution. Uh, but the problem is transcutaneous pacing is uncomfortable for the patient and may require sedation. Generally, temporarily can, uh, uh, can be used until more invasive method are, or more invasive pacing method can be is available. Pacing or long term solution. Uh, transvenous pacing involving insert, inserting a wire through the large vein into the right ventricle, and the wire is connected to external generator, which is a pacing box. The advantage of transvenous pacing is a more stable and reliable solution for long term and can be used for management of bradycardia, providing more comfortable experience for the patient. Uh, it can be used uh, temporary, long term till we, uh, the patient uh, resolve it from this attack of bradycardia or shifting to permanent pacemaker. Now we are going for essential pacing terminology. Pace, pacing uh, means that the pacemaker ability to deliver an electrical impulse to the heart. Sensing, it is the ability of the pacemaker to detect the entrancing electrical activity from the heart. Capture, it means depolarization of the myocardium by an artificial stimulus delivered by the pacemaker. 
Bathing artifact. It is sharp electrical signal recorded when the pacemaker is charged to capture the myocardium. The second term is capture threshold. It's the minimum amount of the energy need to depolarize the myocardium. And the capture threshold should be checked daily and the transvenous pacing wire migrate into the position that can't capture the myocardium or sometimes require higher energy to capture as with aging of the pacemaker some fibrous crust will form it around the lead so more energy is needed to to make the pacemaker captured well pacemaker setting for optimal function output energy it's amount of the energy delivered with each 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 based stimulus typically measured in milliampere and the value of this output set two to three times the, cap the capture threshold, ensuring enough energy delivered above the, the threshold to, to capture the myocardium. The second thing is lower rate. It is the rate through which the pacemaker will begin to base, ensuring the minimum heart rate. And we should, we can, we should know that the pacemaker can sometimes base above the lower rate as it's trickling at real P wave or accelerating in, the res in response to the activity. Sensitivity means the minimum amplitude of it intrinsic electrical activity that the base maker recognized as QRS complex. The base maker can sense in order to basing. So sense to base. somehow with the sensitivity it is the ability of the pacemaker to see the electrical activity that generated by the patient own heart preventing any competition between the basing and intrinsic heartbeat programming the sensitivity value too low will allow the pacemaker to see all signals label more qrs candidate however the pacemaker may also see small electrical signals like noise or artifact and label them as QRS complex. Sensitivity means detecting few QRS. One need to increase the sensitivity value. To raise the sensitivity means detect more QRS complex we need to reduce the sensitivity number. In this slide, three examples. The first example is high sensitivity, mean low number, more QRS uh, complex detected by the device. And if we see here, this dropped artifact detected by the device as QRS complex. And the second one is optimal sensitivity, so uh, uh, certain only QRS complex detected by the device and this artifact not detected by the device. And the third one, low sensitivity, high sensitivity number, so few QRS complex detected and the other cannot be detected and so this is cannot be detected. Uh, how to check the sensitivity threshold? Put the pacemaker in VVI or AAI or DD modes, and we will explain these terms later on. Then put the pacemaker rate lower than native heart. If the native heart is 40, make the pacemaker is 30. Change output to whatever the minimum setting is. You wouldn't get R on C phenomena. Capture isn't not required for this test. Only we need to see basing spike, obse observing the, the sense indicator. Keep decreasing the sensitivity by increasing uh, the millivolt value. We can decrease the sensitivity by increase the number. The, sen the sensitivity will be poor, so the endogenous electrical activity of the myocardium will, be, will not be sensed, sensed by the best maker. The pacemaker blend to all electrical activity will assume that the patient is the access tool and will start to base in a totally synchronized fashion 
or rather than pacing spike will regularly appear on the rate you which you set. Now the pacemaker sensitivity can be carefully increased by decrease the number. Eventually will be sensitivity value so low that the pacemaker can sense every P or QR interval, QRS interval. The minimal sensitivity value is the sensitivity threshold. Most of the time, you tend to, to leave the sensitivity, turn it down to half the sensitivity threshold to ensure that the cardiac electrical activity will be sensed. To summarize these uh, uh, slides, first we will try to make the sensitivity as high as, uh, as low as possible, high number to avoid any sensing of the, uh, of the base maker. Then we will see the spikes. After that, we will try to decrease the number and in increase the sensitivity till we, the base maker start to uh, sense the P wave or QRS. The minimum sensitivity value that the, the, the base maker can sense is called sensitivity threshold. If the sensitivity threshold, for example, 10, we will put the sensitivity of the base maker 5 to allow all electrical activity be sensed and uh, the base maker be sing well. The capture threshold and how to find it. Set the base maker above the native rate so that the chamber of the interest is being paced continuously. Start reducing the output until QRS complex no longer follow each pathing spike. Minimum output at which there is still constant capture is the capture threshold. So to adjust the output of the base maker as we mentioned, so we make, will make base maker output two to three or double the capture threshold. This way when, if we have fibrinous crust, overgrowth on the surface of the electrode, the patient will continue to be based. This is the reference of this lecture. I wish you can find it for, uh, for more reading. Thanks for uh, your listening and you can put your uh, comments down in the comments.